What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. One question women will ask when they're checking out a man. One question they will ask. And that question is very simple. Is he fuckable? Is he fuckable? You know, because, you know, it's kind of well known women make a quick decision whether or not they're going to deal with a man, right? And the first question they ask, despite what someone might try to tell you, go by their actions, is, is he fuckable? Because most women will tell you they make that decision in the first few seconds. They really can't tell that much in a few seconds. But they can tell if the man is fuckable. Very simple. Now, if he isn't fuckable, then... As Cousin Titor points out in his book, The Seduction of Scriptures, Scriptures, they look at other stuff. Can they finesse him? You know, can they forget him? <laughs> you know, but the main thing is, can they fuck him? That's a very key thing to understand with women. Because as I consistently say, they want to have sex. And, you know, when somebody had a comment on one of my videos, I think it was the one I had uh, this morning. They were saying, well, they just want the man's genes. No, women fuck after, women go through menopause and they fuck even more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Women just want it for pleasure. They just like that D. They, they, shoot, they needed to calm them down. You see a woman going all crazy and then she all calm all of a sudden. I was like, oh, you, you met that dude, didn't you? They be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> But, no, nah, that's the main thing. And see, guys got to understand because you get an increased amount of guys think, well, if he got... If, if he if he got a handsome face and he got height, do you want to fuck him? No, not necessarily. Because a dude could be tall, but tall and lanky. He don't look. She, it looked like she'll break him in the bedroom. Women have actually said that. He said, nah, he don't look like him do it. He goofy in how he walk, and even if his face, if it looks too innocent and everything, if it looks too innocent, it's like, nah, he don't look like he get down like that. See, understand something with women. When they checking out a man sexually, they looking at that entire package. Now, as far as their face, though, if when on a sex, like they can look at a man and say he handsome, and still not turned on sexually. Because, yeah, yeah, they might say yeah he handsome, but you know they one is not the only thing they look at. Two, the main thing they look at on a man's face is his lips for sex. Like, if they look at his eyes, they'll think, oh, yeah, he got pretty eyes and all of that, right? And they, they even say something. They even say somebody's jaw or something, you know. But the main sexual part is the lips. Let me tell you something. I've said this before. Many women will suck a man's dick before giving him a good tongue kiss. Their mouth is really sensitive, you know. That's why some women, all they need to do with a man is suck his dick. And they getting off. Cause they're real sensitive around there. So they're looking at that man's lips, and that's that's a sexual thing, how he kiss and everything. Right? How he kiss. And then from the rest of the day, they're looking at his body. They're looking at his body. They're looking at it to see, okay, would they want to see him naked? It's just that simple. Would they want to see him naked? You know? They're looking at his body. They're looking at his print. That's why women, this shoe. Oh, for the ladies watch, for my female fans watching, I got on gray sweatpants today. <laughs> yeah, but that's a major thing. That's why gray sweatpants are important because they feel like they can see the print. And trust me, they look. Some are blatant about it. They look. You know, they looking to see, trying to get an idea and stuff. This is great for showers. If a dude's a grower, though, they might not get an idea. But then women look at the whole picture. Because they also, I'm going to tell you what, <laughs> women actually go crazy over how a man dance. Women go crazy over it. And I don't mean just for male exotic dancers. Like, because they, they, they going crazy over how he move. Because they imagining that's how he, you know, it's just, it, you know what, it, they imagine when he get up in there, that's how he going to move. And you can turn a woman on just by how you move. Because she wants you to go up in there. And she wants you to roll up in there. Shoot. She wants you to go straight side to side. Upside down. Get that grind on. Get that grind on, fellas. You know. Sets of nine and everything. 
Wouldn't know if that dude can pick her up. So, you know, they definitely looking at how strong he is. Shit. Everything. The vitality. Everything. He looking at all that. And they do that in like a few seconds. You know? It's just like, look. Let's be real. For the men watching, just like we look at a woman and she got that nice ass and it's going... You know, just wobbling and stuff. You know, nice and slow. Speaking of which, speaking of which, let me go off on a tangent real quick. Because at my gym, we got, we got this young girl in there, right? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. She cool with me and everything, but I be looking. Right? I be looking. When I first saw her, she was all slim and stuff, like stick figure. Then thinking she was still cool. She been squatting. I was like, damn, where all that come from? <laughs> like damn <laughs> but just like we be looking at their bodies they be looking at ours that's why I emphasize body game so much because that's the key the key to sex appeal is body because a woman gotta want to see you naked because even for the guys that you know think it's just about the face they can see your face and then some guys ain't getting it you know it, it's helpful it's icing but they want to know what you look like naked and they gotta be good with it you know, like I always say, they got to be good with you being on top, them being on top, them doing uh, reverse cowgirl, you know, being to the side, up against the wall. <laughs> oh, and if you look like you can, like, take them and pick them up and put them against the wall and go for about 20, 30 minutes, shit, they get hot. They get hot. And, but they, they see the thing is they looking at all that and they figuring all that out in a few seconds. So they want to know, is he fuckable? Seriously, then I'm gonna tell you what. And one thing I'll probably be doing in 2021, I'll be talking about sexual dynamics more. A lot of people really don't. A lot of people doing some stuff like talking about the social stuff, like status and money. But they don't got anything to do with any. That means they'll deal with you on that level. Hey, Joe Roughneck, you know what's coming next. <laughs> you know what's coming next, man. Joe Roughneck always, uh, what about the supporters? Joe Roughneck always point this out. You know, if you think it's just about money, you get that woman, double back home. You know what? You, <laughs> I said trademark that, Joe. <laughs> double back home. You hear that noise in your bedroom and that dude pounding your wife or woman or whatever. And he look back at you and say, my bad. Did you, man? Let me get, let me, let me get these last strokes in. But seriously, though, that's, I mean, seriously, that's the biggest thing. Now, yeah, they'll deal with men for other reasons, but usually it's some shit they're going to uh, use them for something. You know, like Cousin Tito said in the seduction scriptures, if, you know, they ain't turned on sexually, then they looking at them like, oh, okay, can I finesse them? Can I get money out of them? Like, women always reading a man on several levels. They always reading them. And... Even in situations where they get with a dog and people say, well, if they can read them, why they get with that dog? Why they get with that player? Because, uh, you know, they got with him because he got him wet. And the one man, you know, and they always know and, you know, they don't take accountability for picking a dog. I've told women that. I say, you know, he's a dog when you met him. So they always know. They always know. But... Then for JJ was like, oh yeah, you got to get him some. And your, your, the woman's brain is like, but he's going to dog me. But the JJ's like, yeah, but it's going to feel good, girl. <laughs> oh man. Nah, that's actually out of y'all. Seriously, all women know it. Any uh, challenging woman tell me they didn't know a guy was a dog when he was fucking with him. So, anyway, right? Yeah, that's the question. That's the main thing they looking at. And then everything else comes after that. It's a secondary concern. All that other stuff is secondary concern. But that's why, you know, and that's why I always tell men, don't leave with your wallet. Or think your status is really it. You, you, they settling for you at that point. A woman need to look at you. And I've said this several times. A woman need to lust you and stuff. She need to show something about it that's lusty. And see, if a woman lusts you, you don't have to pay. You just need to spot the fuck. That's it. You 
You don't even need, you don't need to, shoot, she'll spend the money. You know, you don't even have to go out. She just say, hey, where you live? I'll come over, I trust you. Mm -hmm. That's if a JJ talking. You say, girl, you better trust him. Yeah, all right. Sure. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Understand that. Peep the game, y'all. You know? What the fuck are they doing there? Oh, man. They're doing some work. Anyway, right? Anyway. Yeah. So that's what y'all want that woman to look at you and say. I'll tell you straight up. That's always been my secret. Because <laughs> I told y'all that story. I, I told y'all the story a couple times. I worked on this job and office job and had my big glasses and you know, looked like a nerd. And a woman told two different people. They said, you know, I look like a nerd, but I bet you can fuck. Just saying, y'all. That's why I say body game. Get that body right. That's the key to it. That's a foundation. Right? And then attitude. The attitude is a little bit harder to work on. And then if you sexually repressed it all, well, that's really hard to work on. But work on it. Work on it. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.